Hey friends! I'm super excited because now I get to harvest my garlic and onions. I'm just kidding. I'm actually not excited. Well, at least not for my garlic because it's a total fail. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you real quick what I mean. Dun dun dun! <laughs> So remember I told you that I wanted to add some more nutrients to hopefully form the bulbs and then this happened. So I think that was a terrible idea. I don't think that there's anything here. I think it's all just rotten probably with mold, mildew. I don't know, but it looks terrible. Maybe I have a couple that are still alive, but I don't think that there's gonna be anything here to harvest. <laughs> Doesn't it look amazing? Totally what I did not expect, but I did learn a lot. I'm not gonna do that next time. It is the end of July, and just like I told you last month, I should have harvested them in June, because at least I would have used them in cooking, even though there wasn't gonna be any bulbs. But now, I think it's just a lost cause. Let's start off with these terrible looking ones that are just gonna come off. <laughs> So there's no sense of even doing anything with this other than compost. Back here we have one that's alive. Um, it's really hot right now. But see what I mean? Look, it's it's just all pulling apart. So there's there's nothing good here. This is not salvageable at all. It is just ready to be pulled and I'm just going to Oh, maybe this one. I think I can salvage this one you see what I mean there's no real bulbs but I can actually still use these for cooking and it does taste like garlic so at least I'll get that maybe one or maybe a couple all these other ones are done I should have pulled these a while ago they're just falling apart but you know what this is my lesson learned Got some weeds there. It smells delicious. I added some new stuff, but it's uh, taken a little while to grow. Um, we have temperatures probably reaching 100, 102 sometimes. Let me see if I can pull. Oh, I should have pulled that one. Let's see if there's anything here at all. Well, there is something here to pull. That was deep in there. All right, so maybe I have two salvageable pieces okay maybe not pull this one maybe try to dig a little bit and see what we find yeah same thing it was already going bad smushy so this is gonna be a very quick harvest and lesson learned for you guys don't do what I did let's dig in here oh, this one don't look too bad I wonder what the difference is Oh wow. I mean, this is how they were before. So at least I could have kept these. All right, let's do this much quicker because it's super hot right now. And all these are done. Well, this is what it is. Just a few garlic bottoms and the rest compost. Yeah, this is pretty sad. I've been doing some cleaning. You'll see that soon. The next thing is my onions. So the onions look a little bit better, but it is ready for me to add something else in here. So that's why I'm gonna harvest them, or at least most of them. One thing that I do know is I'm not gonna do the Snapdragons with onions anymore because it wasn't a good idea. Last year, if you look at videos before, my onions were standing up straight, really nice and pretty. Here you can't even tell that I have onions growing in here, unless you really look deep. But if I don't pull them out now, see how they're dry at the top? They're gonna go bad. So I'm surprised that they're not bad, but this is the size that I have. This is actually pretty firm, so I don't think it's gone bad. This is my red onion. I didn't have too many here. This is a good size for me anyways. So all of these at the tops are pretty much done. We're taking them out. 
And some of these might be salvageable as well, but they look like the garlic has been here too long. And see how you have to dig in between the snapdragons. This one still has the green top, but it is done. It is ready to harvest. See this one right here? It's already smushy. That's a bad one. I didn't want to get smushy ones. They're really here in between the snapdragons. You really can't see the onion. But all of these don't have tops. Actually really good. Thought they would be soft already. Get to keep some onions. Not bad. This one looks a little funky. They were not standing straight up, so I think that's why they have these weird shapes. All of these don't have any tops. So don't leave them this long like I did. So in case you do, I mean, you might keep some of your onions, but I wouldn't do it. Look at these sizes, they're little minis. I think they were shaded too much. There's only a couple that I noticed that still have good green tops. Like this one's a, a double or a twin. How neat is this? They're actually not bad at all. I really thought it was gonna be a fill like the garlic. Do you see any onion here? Yeah, there's quite a few onions in here in this crazy mess. Okay, no sun, this is what happens. Got some with weeds. This is the one that I thought was gonna be really big. And it is the largest one, but it's not as big as I thought it would be. Doesn't surprise me. I think this is the last one. I have a couple in between. Yep, I think that's it. I'm actually surprised. I have quite a few onions to use here. So lesson learned. June is the only month, basically, if you're gonna do it like I did, to get good garlic. Outside of that, it's gonna go bad. And for onions, try not to mix them with flowering annuals that will vine pretty much in between and shade them off. <laughs> Huge lesson learned for me, but I'm very grateful. I'm grateful to share it. And whatever harvest that I have, I get to really enjoy it. And I'm actually really thankful for it, even though it didn't turn out the way I hoped it would be. But I know next year is going to be a better one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.